to say it, then you should say it. Right? Right. So if you just give her your ear for a few minutes. I've never done this with adults before, but I've done this at school every year at the beginning of the year. So I'm going to do something that um, Kenny has never asked you to do in church before. I want you to close your eyes. Okay, everybody close your eyes a minute. That's always dangerous to do in church if you're about to preach. Um, I want you to close your eyes and think of the very best teacher you've ever had. So close your eyes and think about it. And I tell my students, go to that room, right? Experience what it felt like, smelled like, looked like, or all the senses. I won't leave you there long, but think about all the things that made it good. All right, open your eyes a minute. And then we have a discussion about what made it good. But just, I'm, I'm interested because I've never done it with adults before. How many people was it the teacher? Was it the teacher that made it a good thing? Okay, some. How many was it your friends in the classroom that made it a good thing? That made it the best thing ever? Anybody want to say what, what made it the best thing? How many people remember a best teacher ever? Do you remember a best teacher ever? Yeah. Okay. So I, then I usually ask them this. I tell them to close their eyes again. Okay, I don't tell them to do this in math class very often, but I do tell them at the beginning of the year. So close your eyes and think about the worst class. The worst class you ever had. Yeah, I won't leave you there long, but think about what it felt like, sounded like, smelled like, uh, everything felt like. Your worst class. And what made it the worst? Right, I told you I wouldn't leave you there long. Uh, and then we discuss what made those things bad class. But how many of you in here remember the worst faster than you remember the best? Did anybody remember the worst faster? So when I said the worst teacher, you remembered it like that. How many people remember the best teacher better? Okay, how many people remember the worst teacher better? Okay, and it will, it will depend on what the experience was, right? How great the good experience was or how bad the worst experience was. But I can tell you with teenagers, 100% of the time that we vote, it's the worst teacher. And that may be because they're young and it's impressionable on them and you guys are old enough to have lived life and realized that it really didn't matter what they said to you or it really didn't matter what it did to you. Okay, but I can tell you as young people, the worst is right there. When I tell them pick the best, it takes them a while, they kind of giggle and I say, okay, think of the class that you hated the least. And then they can usually come up with something. You know, this gym class usually or whatever. But the thing is, they remember the worst class like that. And I try to impress on them that, that it's those kinds of experiences that make people remember. Like when you're mean to your friend, they're going to remember that. You can be nice to them 10 days in a row, but if you're mean once, that's what they remember. And that's what I tell teenagers. But I thought as adults, like especially as Christian adults, we have all this, right? We have all these things that God says we are. So when somebody says something that makes it a bad thing to you, or that bad experience you remember, like now you have a list of things to say that what God says you are. Um, and I just felt like that was a huge thing, but it was really interesting that adults have a better perspective. You know, that that one bad experience um, it, it didn't make a difference to almost anybody, one or two in here, that remembered. Or it was both things that were that strong. But just remember, with younger kids especially, that one bad experience, like, sticks with them. And they need to hear the ten good experiences. I also feel really strongly that our younger generation isn't getting the Christian perspective as much. So they're not hearing all of this, what God says we are. So we need to make sure everybody hears it, um, but a whole new generation is coming up that's not hearing it. 